what's going on everybody this is island hopper tv and today we're going to talk about the things you should know when visiting belize let's do it so the first thing to know is where are the tourist areas where should you go when you arrive in belize right now i'm in san pedro you can see the san pedro sign right behind me and they have the water taxi which we'll be talking about transportation in a little bit but San Pedro is considered the uh, best tourist area for the most part. You would either need a seaplane to get here or you would get here by water taxi. You can also take a private vessel if you have access to that. But from here, what I'm doing is actually going to Key Conquer. So from Key Conquer, I will then go towards Belize City. So those are the three main areas, but they have some other areas south like Howard, and we'll be talking about some of that stuff a little later on. But that's mainly where you'll want to go. Key Cocker sounds like K or spells like K, but it's, uh, sounds like Key, like Key West. It's an island. Ambergris Key, which is actually San Pedro or Isla Bonita, and then Belize City. All right, now let's talk about some facts here. First thing is Belize is a small country that has around 400,000 people. It actually used to be part of the British colonial empire and it was called a British colony up until about 40 years ago maybe 50 years ago someone in the comments can correct me if I'm wrong but it's a very new country and the official language here is actually English now let's talk about some general facts about Belize so it's a population of around 400,000 people before it was called Belize about 50 years ago or so it was called British Honduras. So it was a British uh, colony. Another thing to know is here in Belize, the official language is English, which definitely caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting that. I came in from Chetumal, Mexico, thinking that I was going to be speaking Spanish when I got here. And I started to realize everyone speaks like a kind of almost like a Jamaican kind of English. But yeah, look at this. We've got some fresh lobster. Beautiful. Wow, hit us the barbecue here. All right, now let's talk about the arrival process into Belize. So you don't need a visa. You should know where you're gonna stay though, and you should have a departure ticket. But yeah, I arrived into uh, San Pedro from Chetumal, Mexico, and it was just having a passport, and they asked me where I was gonna stay. That's really all that goes into uh, arrival. Now, if you're arriving uh, by land, I did hear there is a fee that you need to pay, so pay attention to that. It might be around $35 if you do a land border crossing, so it might be easier to just arrive by boat or plane in most instances. Now let's talk about transportation and getting around Belize. So I found the easiest way to get around to the islands in particular is by ferry, although some people choose to go by plane. Uh, the ferry boat from Belize City to Key Conquer is around 45 minutes to an hour to go from San Pedro to Key Cocker or Key Cocker to San Pedro, depending on the waves, like 30 minutes to 40 minutes. So, <laughs> I mean, if you count in how long it is going through uh, security and processing for a flight, it's much easier to just get around by uh, boat, really, than air. Although Tropic Air, Maya Air, those are two airlines you can check. Then we also have uh, tours, which is a great way to see the country for the first time. Uh, boat tours, also bus tours, and just regular tour shuttle buses. Lots of options here, or getting a private car. Um, some people even rent a car. That you can do on the mainland of Belize. Belize mainland should not be overlooked. A lot of the locals I talked to here, I said, where's your favorite place in Belize? They almost always said the mainland. So the locals love the mainland. The tourists love the islands. So now let's talk about affordability and the cost of exploration of Belize. I found it to be more affordable than places like Riviera Maya, but it's a bit more expensive than certain parts of Mexico. Although overall, I would say Belize is a very uh, cheap, affordable destination. Don't expect much modern uh, facilities or amenities. The internet though has been relatively decent, especially for me needing to use it for work. I found that most hotels had adequate internet, so that was good. The water supply, sometimes the water actually uh, smells like bleach, which means obviously that it's a uh, catchment or maybe even uh, desalinized water. But overall, I would say the affordability, accommodation, you're looking at hotels anywhere between 
uh, 50, 45 to 50 dollars on the low end. Typically, you can find a little bit lower at a hostel, and then all the way up from there. But for a 3.5 star hotel, that's really what you're going to be seeing the most of. Those are typically around 100 to 150, whereas in Mexico, that same hotel might be going for uh, 200 in Playa del Carmen or Tulum. Uh, but if you stay at a chain hotel, they only have uh, Hilton, Curio, and I think they have Marriott Residence on San Pedro. Those are really expensive, like over 300 a night. Um, so they do have some of that more super luxurious stuff, but really food prices, very affordable. Um, two Belizean dollars equals one US dollar. So most of the prices are gonna be in Belize dollars. Here I am at the ferry port right now. This uh, is gonna cost me around 35 US to go from Key Cocker to Belize City. If I wanted to go from Key Cocker to uh, San Pedro, that's around $25. Now let's talk about peak season here in Belize. So that's gonna be from around November until July. That's when uh, the accommodations are more full, higher prices. If you come outside of that time frame, say from July to October, you'll find better prices and more options. I'm right now in Belize City. This here is the Radisson. Right now the rooms cost around $150 a night, but you come here not in peak season because I'm here in January, better prices. You guys get the idea. Now let's talk about the subject of safety because I'm sure some of you are curious about this. A lot of the people from the US or Canada that I've talked to who actually live here say, Belize is surprisingly safe because a lot of people think because it's next to Mexico, it's gonna be having cartels and stuff. I haven't seen or heard anything about cartels. You do wanna exercise caution in some areas. You know, you don't wanna to get too carried away with alcohol and then try to talk smack to a local or anything like that. But for the most part, everyone I've talked to says it is relatively safe. I would suggest putting your stuff in a safe when you are staying in your hotel for a few days. Uh, but, one other thing that I do pay attention to no matter where I'm at is I always try to have them open the drinks in front of me. Uh, not saying that I've heard of any problems like that here, but that's just a rule of thumb that I like to do. Watch them make the drinks, not leave my drinks unattended. I think that's common sense, especially for females, but males also should pay attention to that. So I just ask them, hey, let me bring the beer, open it in front of me if you can. Some of them might take offense to that. I did have that happen, but I just said it's nothing personal. It's just safety reasons. I do it pretty much everywhere anyway. I walked around late at night, cruised around late at night, didn't really have any uh, concerns. Saw plenty of female solo travelers, plenty of male solo travelers, couples with kids. So there you go. Now let's talk about the people. So the people here are actually like a mix of Afro-Caribbean and then you have like the Mayan indigenous people and then you have some foreigner uh, people who also saw Quite a few Chinese business owners here, but overall I found everyone to be really friendly, especially the people who are like Afro-Caribbean. They're probably the most friendly. They're like a Rasta, Jamaican kind of vibe, but I ask them, you guys Jamaican? No, they sound like they're Jamaican. They sound like they're Rasta, but they're not. Thank you everyone for watching Island Hopper TV. If you enjoyed this one, please consider watching another one of our videos. We have a recommended video and another video for you to watch next.